Hi students and welcome back to Bank Exams today. And in this video, we are going to learn about the phrase replacement that came in the SBI PO prelims. And students were not really prepared for this section. So to make you understand what is phrase replacement, this video has been uploaded on our YouTube channel that is bank exams today you can click the subscribe button to get the latest notifications and for other study material related to other exams like SBI PO prelims RBI grade B you can install our application that is GK Digest Android app which is available on the Play Store so first we should understand what is phrase replacement Phrase replacement, as the name suggests, you have to replace a phrase or a part of the sentence in which a sentence is given and a small part of the sentence is bold or underlined to make it stand out. And that part contains an error or something that can make the sentence incorrect so you have to replace the highlighted text with the correct option you will be given three to four options that you have to replace the uh, highlighted part with one of the given options clear like she likes to playing Okay. Here the underlined part is to playing. If you can see that there is an error in this part and you can replace it with to play which is the correct replacement for the underlined text or underlined part of the sentence. Clear? Now, what we actually need to attempt the phrase replacement? The basic English grammar is all that we need. If you want to attempt any kind of English question, then you must have the basic English grammar knowledge. And for to attempt the phrase replacement, the first thing you need to know is subject verb agreement great knowledge of tenses how the sentence is formed like sentence structure grammar rules narration helping verbs and modal auxiliaries particles participles and infinitives and phrasal verbs uh, phrasal verbs are the important topic topic for phrase replacement and in which Two or three words are given together and that makes a singular meaning. Okay. So if we change either one suffix, then the meaning completely changes. So you must read all the phrasal verbs. I will share a file in the link below. Okay, so must check that file for phrasal verbs. Next. What you need to do if you are having a question on phrase replacement then first read the sentence try to understand the sentence and sentence structure and first thing you have to notice is what is the tense of the sentence sometimes a sentence comes which starts from future or past sentence and in, be in between there is a part which is in present so you have to make a coherent sentence by changing the tense right then read the underlined text twice if you unable to understand the underlined text then read it two or three times to understand where is the error then 
try to find out the error it is like error spotting in which you have to find the error first and then you have to replace the error with the correct option so try to find the error and take it as a error spotting question once you have find the error then you can move to the replacement of the phrase or the underlined text then once you find the error read the options which option is close enough to make the sentence clear or more understandable then there are some kind of questions in which the sentences are clear or the part of underlined text has no error but options may be having some errors too so if you are having some options that contain errors then remove them or eliminate them right and when you are left with one or two options then try to replace the underlined text with the left out options then read again and which you think the best sounds the best to you is the correct answer clear now we will take some examples and quote from some questions and you i'll tell you how the questions are framed and how you should answer to them first is six top us intelligence officials told congress on thursday they agree to the conclusion that russia acted to influence last year's election countering president donald trump's assertions that the hacking remains an open question so here we have a very small underlined text that is agreed to it means that it is a phrasal verb now you have to learn some phrasal verbs like what is the meaning of agree to agree for agree with or agree on here we have four options agree for agree with agree on and agree only agree cannot be there we need some kind of suffix with it so when you are agree with someone it means you accept their point of view right agree for means you are agreed to give something okay and agree on there is no phrasal verb like this so here we are left with two options agree for and agree with and agree with means you are accepting someone's proposal or something that is said or their point of view so here the officials are talking about some kind of point of view about the donald trump so agree with is the correct option clear now we will move to the example 2 which says look here one of the eight diesel alternators each generating 3 megawatt power have already been set to work says a navy officer part of wot signaling to a large machine room on the carrier here first look at the sentence look here one of the eight diesel alternators the sentence is starting with one of each generating 3 megawatt power which is the dependent clause so you don't need to worry about it you have to take this as a independent clause have already been set to work you are related to this have already been set to work now we know that one of none of each of takes singular verb right so here have should be replaced with has right so now we will look at the options first is has already been set we have discussed why has do you think have should be there no had 
we can't change the tense of the sentence so this is nothing had already been set here again we can't change the tense because the tense is already in present so we are left with only has already been set which is the correct answer clear now move to the next example our aim is to build a strong infallible case and these meetings will resolve issues on the table will resolve issues on the table right now here we have will have resolve issues will resolve issues will have resolve issues at will resolve issues across across the table right now here first we need to read the underline text again will resolve issues on the table now we are not discussing about the on the table on the table means in a meeting or something like this will have we don't need will have if we are using have then there should be a third form or past participle form of the verb then will resolve issues at why are we using at there is no point of using at preposition will have resolves issue at as we have discussed earlier we need a third form of verb if we are using have now will resolve issues across now why are we using across here let me tell you across means something on the other side of something our aim is to build a strong infallible case and these meeting will resolve issues on the table issues across the table means we are going to do something which is the other side of the point of view or the thing which is already discussed or which is already been told to someone so we are using across now example 4 says the number of japanese companies in in india in october 2014 were 1156 and by october it was 1200 an increase of 6% much lower than the needed growth to achieve the target now the underlined text says in october 2014 were there is no error in this thing in october 24 which is totally correct in the left out part is were now read the first part of sentence the number of japanese companies like in each of none of one of the number of will also take the singular verb right the number of followed by singular verb a number of is followed by plural verb clear so here the singular verb will be was has have cannot be the correct answer and are cannot be the correct answer so we are or having only was and has we can't change the tense which is already in past so we are left with only was as a option and which is the correct answer clear let's move to example 5 unless it is not considered that it is difficult to blame the court for its approach in the face of a social outcry it is not possible to confront the consequences of two factors that stand out whenever the death penalty is awarded and the rest of the sentence we have to read only this part to understand
understand where the error is unless it is not considered let's read the option it was not considered it has considered it is considered it has not considered and it had not considered first we can't change the tense so had is eliminated here the was is eliminated and again has is eliminated so we are left with it is considered it has not considered here the word in the uh, highlighted text is not and the word unless and until include the word not so we don't require a not here all we need is unless it is considered and this option c is our correct answer clear let's move to example 6 which says there is a little doubt that the national outcry that the gruesome incident evoked at the heart of ultimate outcome now we have to replace a little with a few little few and the few there is a little doubt that the national outcry that the gruesome incident evoked at the heart of the ultimate outcome as a defense lawyer and the amicus query appointed the court argued in vain for separate assessment of mitigating factors in respect of each individual convict rather than a common set of reasons now we are talking about something which has a very little possibility of having or to happen so a little means few and a few little few and the few here we don't need only little we can't replace the word exactly against the given word right so we are left with little because little is something which is which refers to almost nothing here the possibility is very very less so we can't use a little because a little means positive little means negative there is no possibility right move to example 7 the factory may have increased the burden of expectation on the court rendering it even more difficult than it was to award a lesser sentence to some of the four available for trial and sentencing after the suicide of ram singh the apparent leader while in prison some of the four any of four some of four or any of the four here we use any with with of before articles like a and the and to refer a part of the whole sentence clear so we need lesser sentence to any of the four some of the four means nothing some of four also means nothing any of the four is the correct answer because we are talking about four particular persons and any one of them is available for the trial okay so the court is going to start the trial on that particular person so some of the fourth is incorrect any of four no some of four no any of the four we need a single person to be tried clear so the correct answer is any of the four and then the example 8 says 
Donald Trump and FBI director James Comey have been on a collision course since last year when the US intelligence concluded that Russia tried to interfere in the November presidential election. Try to read the sentence because we are having Donald Trump and FBI director James Comey have been on a collision course since last year. There is no tense error have been is correctly used with Donald Trump and FBI director James Comey have been on a collision means they are having opposite point of views on something so there is no correction required I guess we can replace the sentences had been no have been over a collision no have been at a collision no has been at a collision no clear now option 9 says or example 9 says referring to one of his earlier orders he directed the aid to surrender its respective passports he directed the eight means there are eight people or eight persons surrendered its respective passports there are eight persons so it should it should not be singular there should be a plural something surrender his respective no there are passports so we need plural noun or pronoun surrender their respective the spelling of their or the there is incorrect surrender its respective incorrect now we are left with surrender their respective because t h e i r refers to persons clear now example 10 which is our last example for this video hundreds of workmen nudging the ferrous giant india's maiden indigenous aircraft ins vikrant hundreds of workmen hundreds means many or more than one now let's read the options hundreds of work mans which is incorrect because man is no words it is man men hundreds of workmen again incorrect hundreds of work men hundred of workmen here it is no s but we are talking about men and it will be incorrect so option c is the only correct or replacement for the underlined text clear so students or viewers I think I have done my best to un make you understand what is phrase replacement with some basic examples now we will move to some other high level questions for SPIP and RBI grade B because we never know what kind of question will appear in the exam so for more details you must follow our channel that is bank a site that is bankexamtoday.com and don't forget to click the subscribe button for the latest updates and notifications keep watching and thank you for watching this video